called uh, D'Angelo's Novels. Thank you for looking out for me. It was a pleasure to gaze at you while you were at the lake of the critical condition with its bubbles, ripples, currents and patches of green floating bacteria, studying a drifting bottle on its surface while musing about the existence of extraordinary persons who know why they're here. You already knew they were here. You had spotted these humans before, protecting all forms of life on the planet. There are many, so many, but at that moment they came to the absolute foreground, like an extreme close-up of laborious arms building ideal cities, which once visited remain unforgettable, making you know that every single act matters, that you matter, we matter. You close your eyes and tune into the warm impermanence of things organic. You are suddenly snatched away and propelled elsewhere. In this elsewhere, you felt as if you were orbiting around me in a space capsule and you distinctly heard my strange and eerie wail. You were bewildered to see millions of fragments from dumb satellites and rockets orbiting the Earth, promising collisions with new ones, spreading our travel ahead. Amongst the space junk, you recognize orbiting past a flying aeroplane door, an astronaut's glove, an ejection seat. Puzzled, you lower your head and you were instantly stirred by how intensely blue I am. <coughs> you zoomed in and found me breathtaking. You were transfixed. But when you zoomed in further, you were sickened to see plastic rivers, vast islands made of plastic, poisoning ocean life shrinking and vanishing glaciers, asymmetrical segments of broken ice melting adrift on the Arctic Sea, oil spills and dead coral seas, Greece. You saw my scars and you saw vast flooded areas and post-apocalyptic post ghost towns with the buildings in ruins. You saw cities of despair and wildfires and drones and abstract pattern lines that happen to be trenches. As you go closer to my surface, you heard the screaming from all this suffering and chaos. You saw shows of corpses and you saw starving homeless and displaced humans from all countries and the bodies of all the extinct and endangered species. You then heard thousands of wise children now screaming, now chanting, marching by laborious arms to claim their stolen futures. And there were thousands of wise people, all ages, and you wanted to be one of those children and those yet to be born were also there. You wept at all this beauty and horror. You blinked and I span day into night. And you laughed the night with its silence and saw my shores brimming with bioluminescent phytoplankton that looked like a stunning starry night and remembered the beauty of documentaries about luminous life forms on TV and all the strange and wondrous fauna, flora, insects and minerals you have come across in your life. And you've always been in awe of the sheer diversity of it all and you wanted to protect them. 
and you want it to, to make better, to repair, to heal, to re-enchant the world. And you want it to become a luminous life form. And when you landed back on me, you opened your eyes and you knew why you are here. And once you knew, there was no unknowing. Thank you once again, yours truly, Planet Earth. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Lovely, thank you. Can we carry on? Yeah, we're carrying on. Shall I stay here? Or? Okay. Okay, we're going to have Matt Alcock now. He didn't know I was going to call him, but he is coming up. And.